Ten days. So now, simple question. Out of all of these manuscripts, let's say there are about 30 in there. Are there 30 different Gospel of Mark? Or there's one Gospel of Mark there with different readings? Different Gospel of Mark? Well, I, I can't tell you. So you've got 30 Gospels of Mark? Yeah, did I say that? So should, I'm, I'm asking you, how would you say it? How would, would you... say it according to the, obviously, the, the manuscript itself. If there's a lot of manuscripts... So I'm going to now say... I have, to look, listen, I have to look into it. It's not something I've looked into, to be honest. But you've looked into the Quran, again, and you've looked into this. It's a comparative yeah. analysis. Um, he told me, where's the guy? The guy told me to bring two, that there's only one Quran. Obviously, I showed him yeah. there's two different, so, so, and I brought him obviously words from the Quran, showing that they're two we different. We will try to understand so obviously this that's, that's obviously covered. This isn't my stronghold. Obviously, to be honest, my stronghold is to do with prophecy. So if I if we want to talk about prophecy, Quran we can talk prophecy, about prophecy. But let's just let's, let's just summarize this discussion on this one. When you have that's a Gospel it. of Mark, every yeah. scholar with these ending or the other endings, right. they will still say this is the same gospel of Mark. Okay. You, you're not going to say, oh, just because the readings are different, it's a different gospel, would you? I don't of know. course not. Yeah, okay. Of course not. You can go and ask the scholars, they will say, it is still the same gospel of Mark, but there are different readings of the gospel of Mark. Okay. But same one gospel of Mark. Right. In the Quran, mm -hmm. This is from the mercy of Allah, of your creator and my no, creator. No, it's not my creator, sorry, I don't believe in Allah. No, so, Allah so, Allah Allah so the when the Christian, the Bible, no, when the Christians in Middle East say... That doesn't... That doesn't one, one moment, one moment. Yeah, when the thousands and millions of Christians sure. have been calling God Allah, mm -hmm. are you saying they were calling on a pagan God? They were calling on something else. If they're calling on the, Bible, the God of the Bible who has a son, does Allah have a son? In their Bible... Yeah, no, I'm saying, does Allah have a son? Let me... Let me, let me I'm good with today. It's a question. Oh, you've you asked me so many want, questions. You're bombarding me with no, questions. No, I'm not bombarding with questions. I want to clarify the same point. <laughs> no, no, in no. their Bible, box your question though. In the Wait, Bible, can you answer me? Can you answer me? I'm Please. answering. I'm answering. In the Bible, the Christians read in yeah. the Middle East. Yeah. It says Allah, right? Allah. <laughs> right. And in the Bible, they say Allah has a son. Right. In the in the Arabic Bible. Okay. So when they say Allah, are you saying that's a different God? Well, the God you worship, Allah. The, no, hold on, hold on. Let me finish, because you can't, you can't just limit me and say, hold on. Let me explain myself. Yeah. You said that Allah. So Allah is the translation of the word God. According yeah, to you guys, right? Allah is not a translation. It's the God name of is it's the, it's the name of God, right? Is it the name of God? It's the name of God. Yeah. According to Islam. So okay, when you're saying the Shahada, when you're saying the Shahada, you're saying that there's no God but Allah, right? So Allah is the name. No, we said there is no ilah except Allah. There's no ilah except Allah. Except ilah is a word from God. Ilah is a word from God. Anything that is worship, Allah is the true God. So there's no... So according to you, that Allah is the is, is not a translation for the word God, but it's the name of the deity God. Yeah. No. It's simple. How can you say a translation of something? The word in the Arabic language, language they, they say Allah means God. This is what I'm saying. No, no. It's Allah is a name. For the one true God, for the, one true God. the name that was given to Musa alayhi salam, the name that was given to the prophets. Which prophets? But unfortunately, the Jews and Christians don't have that name. I don't believe because, so, because, because according they, to the Bible, the name of God is Yahweh. If that's not the name of your God, then that's a different God. And plus, your God, yeah? Are you sure? The God of the Quran. Hold well, on, let me show you. The God of the Quran. If he contradicts everything, yeah, according to the God of the Bible, like the God of the Bible has a son, right? He says. This is my son. He has sons, right? Especially he takes Israel as a son. He says, Israel is my first born. Allah says, Allah is a father to no one, right? He's not even a father in a spiritual sense. That's what Muhammad implied. That means Allah is not the same God as Yahweh, according to the Bible, right? What's the, what's the name of your God? Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. So, and Allah as well, yeah? According to your, even your end times, Allah will send a beast. He hates the person who calls himself the King of Kings, who is Jesus in the Bible. Allah also has what? How does Allah view Isa alayhi salam, Jesus in the Quran? Well, we don't believe in that Jesus, because according to you, when Isa comes how back... How is he described? I'm, I'm, in the Quran, how is he described? How is Isa described? Well, according to you guys, he's the Messiah. According to you guys, he's the Messiah. So do you disagree with that? Huh? Do you disagree with that? I don't disagree with that. Right. So what else does he describe Isa alayhi salam as in the Quran? Well, do you agree or disagree? Let's go. No, no, I'll tell you where we disagree. Let's go to the bottom point. The way we disagree. Where do you disagree with the Quranic concept of, of Christ? Huh? 
So because you're saying Quran says Christ is not son of God or God? Well, Isa, the Isa described in your Quran is not the is not the Jesus. That's in history. That's portrayed in history. So Isa Jesus already the Bible doesn't. And the Jesus of the Quran. They're not the same. They are different. They are not the same. Good, yeah. good, good, good. good, good. All right. So which is the true Jesus? The Jesus that comes back here, yeah, that comes back in the future to what save the Jews. Hold on, hold on. Which is the true Jesus? I'll tell you who the true Jesus is and the true the Jesus that you recognize, right? The Jesus that comes back here yeah, to save Israel comes from, from this, what? Comes back like here. That comes back, comes back from where? From heaven. Here. Did you second, we call it the second coming. Let me just make when, when you say second elaborate. coming, yeah. when he was here in the first time, <laughs> how did he identify himself? What was his self-identity? What was his self-identity? Because it's one thing someone else describes you who you are, another thing who you describe who you think you are. So what did Jesus think we is? Okay, did Jesus come to basically reveal who God is and reveal the um, how can I put this? Reveal his position with God. So what was that position with God? Right. So what, what did was his identity? Let's, let's say let's say let's this way. What did the people at his time here? Through his teachers and preachers, what did the people say who he is? Because there making, was two, there was different camps. One friend, said he's friend. one said he's the son of God. Do you realize what, what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah, you are you are actually yeah, yeah. saying it's what I'm saying. For example, you can say, look, I am a mathematics professor. Right, right. That's who I am. I teach mathematics in this university. Other people can have an opinion about you and say, no, 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 I think he's a politician. No, I think he's a biologist. People can have different opinions. Right. You can also have your own identity who you are. So we are saying, Jesus has a self-identity, self-awareness. What was that? What was his self-awareness and identity? Who did he think he was? Which is? So, so he knew, let's identify one by one. So he knew he was a son of God. The son of God, not a. The son of God. What's the difference between, what's the difference between a son of God and the son of God? Alright, the son of God, yeah. I'll show you through the Old Testament as well. Now listen, let me even bring up a, a text for you. Go ahead. Yeah, for sure. I want, everyone, I want everyone to even acknowledge this. And you tell me, because if you put it to the Bible, God is complex in his nature, right? So, when it comes, when it comes to... Alright, I'll give an example. When it comes to Sodom and Gomorrah, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Who destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Who destroyed it? Who destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? According to which book? Maybe first or well, second to the Bible. Round. It's like the you Old Testament. Me. You tell me that's your book. Tell me. No, but it's the book that you are obviously claiming that you, you're from it. Right? Well, the Quran has nothing to do with the Torah. The Quran corrects the previous revelations. With what? It, it, it attests the, the truthfulness like within the previous revelation and it fortifies the errors within the previous revelations. So it's the same God quality control and Muhammad. In, well, in your understanding, you're going to differentiate between a son of God and the son of God. I would like to know where that comes from and what that is. Right. So you're telling me you don't believe in the Torah at all? Right? I, don't I, don't I never said I don't believe in the Torah or not. Do you believe every in the, Muslim, do you believe in the Torah? Every Muslim that remain a Muslim well, must you believe in what Allah revealed to Prophet Musa right. and that was the Torah, the Torah. But it's not necessarily yeah. what you claim it is to be. Okay, is it that I claim it? Do you believe in the Injil called the Injil of Gospel of Mary? What's that? Yeah. Exactly. Know what you're talking about. No, okay, no, exactly. Listen, Carry on. That, besides the point. Who destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? According to the Bible, according to the Torah. Right. So this is what the Lord says. Because according to us, when Abraham spoke to God, yeah, we believe it was face to face. Even the, even the Jews, even that, they, they believe that. So there was three of them, right? One was the Lord, and two were angels, right? The two angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah, and the Lord remained in front of Abraham, right? So the Lord was in Abraham. Right? Now read this, and then the Lord. Okay, Genesis 19, 24. I want you guys to read it. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. So the Lord was on earth speaking to Abraham and then he went to go and judge Sodom and Gomorrah. And what happened? He rained down burning sulfur from to Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. So there's two laws. There's two laws. Does Lord, does Lord signify someone is God? Can Lord, you call your Lord master here, Lord? Lord here is Yahweh. Lord in caps locks is Yahweh. 
Go to Yahweh. Yeah, what is yeah, Yahweh? That's the name of God. I'm the only name of God. Wait, wait, wait. When you say Yahweh, yeah. Okay. When God gave Moses alayhi salam, Moses alayhi salam the name that he has to him. Okay. Did he speak or did he write it down? I don't. I believe he spoke. Yeah, he spoke. He spoke. But okay. Yahweh. What did God say to Moses? That his name was tell me exactly without any change without any alteration name, the, without any modification his name is yahweh yahweh are you sure this is what it was uh, yeah, okay well, let me give you some yahweh. suggestion was it yahawaha was it you e? wait, wait a right, moment go on, wait a moment wait a moment my friend go, go, go on, go on. was it e ho was all it right. was it yahawahu all right right so yeah. when god spoke yeah what was the name that he gave to Musa right. Islam? Are you asking about the name or are you going to the name. text? Oh, yeah, you're asking name. about the name, name, right? To give you an example. Okay, okay. Can I come with an example? 30 seconds. All right, go my on. name is Mansur. Yeah. If I tell you my name is Mansur and he says, oh, his name is Munsa. Okay. And he says, his name is Mansa. Okay. And he says, his name is Minsi. Right. Now, obviously, that's not my name. None of them. All right. My name is not Minsir. Right, my name so. was Munsa. My name is not Mansa. My right. name that I've told you is Mansur. Okay, that's right. your name. That's your so name. Right. when God gave Musa right. the name, right. his name, right. what was the name that he gave him? Was right. it was it Yahweh? Okay. Was it Ihi? Okay. Was it Yahweh? Okay. Was it Niho? All right. Are you done? Which one? I can all give right. you many but other alternatives. You can, you can do. You can say all of that. Okay. But which one I, is then it? Again, then again. Then again. Don't say it. I'm like, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to hear now, it. Now, now. Now when you reach a stumbling block, you try to jump. Alright, listen. I want to the hear text, it, right? The text says this. The Lord. The Lord there. Sorry. You can God call it Yahweh. English, right? You can say... No, I'm not going to call it anything. You can say whatever I name want you want to say. No. No. You can say, stop, but stop the there. name... Stop Listen. There. Stop. Sorry, sorry, text. sorry. Stop there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... No, no, please. To, please. Not With all due respect, it. please. I want you to pronounce the name as uh, it was said to Moses so I can hear it with my own very ears. Yeah, you can Go hear it with your ears. I am yeah. listening. Okay, Go I'm ahead. not gonna pronounce it for you because um I don't know what, what kind of question that is. But I'm telling you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't understand have, the English. Have, you, have you answered what I gave what, what I just told you right now? I don't want to jump. I don't want to jump too much. Not, not, You're before I, me, before on, I go on, into your hold on, no, quotation, I want you to, want you to go into this because this answer repeats this. your whole belief. Okay? Really? It does. How many Yahweh's are there in the Bible? Okay, now listen. Just okay, good. Now, now I've just given you. Okay. A, I've just given you a proof. I've just, good, good. There are two Yahweh's in there. Hold on, hold on. There are two Yahweh's in there. You agree? Yeah. There's two Yahweh's. According to what you said. You agree? Without me checking, so I will agree. So there's two Yahweh's. For now, we've read the text. There's two lords. There's one lord that was with Abraham. That also went to Sodom and Gomorrah, right? To judge Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. and through him he rained down what burning sulfur from the Lord out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Already, there's two lords. That's why Jesus said to the Jews when they were confused about uh, was it believe Psalms? Let me find it. About the Lord said to my Lord, which is in the Psalms. There are two lords, and this is from the Old Testament before your Quran came, right? So you guys are in some sort of confusion. In your belief, Can you quote the Hebrew there, that, that passage? It, fam, if you want me to quote Hebrew, I, I'm, I'm not here to do that, I'm sorry. If you want, there's a, I'm sure there's did some God Jews, reveal in I'm English? sure there's some Jews here. But Excuse all me, I know is, did God reveal your Bible in is, English? All I know is that from the passage, God is complex in his nature and there's two lords. And he makes that clear. Are you sure in the Old three Testament, and he, two? He makes it clear in the Old Testament. Are you sure it's three? Yeah, three now. So oh. that's it, bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I no, asked no, you. I just make that, I don't want to really debate. I just make a point. What you've made, it's an yeah. irrelevant point. Let me tell you why. Right. I asked you about Jesus' self-identity. Instead you. of quoting me Jesus' own words about his own identity, right. he went into the Old Testament where right. someone is describing there are two different Yahwehs. Two different right. Yahwehs, right. In John 17.3, mm -hmm. Jesus says what? Jesus what? You, you say it. I'm here. No, up, you, no, you, no, no, I don't want to misquote your Bible. Open up. No, you're not going to You're not going to. You've got a phone. No, 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 no. Go on. Open it up, please. In your Bible. In your own. own Why are you Hold so do you, hold on. Before we I move on. To show you before the, we move on to another point. It's not the point. Agree? My same point that I've been discussing that from what? the second one onwards. I haven't right. moved to a different tangent. Only peripheral discussion was about the name of God, which obviously you don't know. So you're talking about the name of, you've moved on to the name no, of No, God. no, no, no. That was a peripheral discussion, okay. which we left because you were unwilling to answer. No, because you didn't know the answer. That was an answer. Because you don't know the answer, that's why you don't want. I don't know the answer. To me, Yahweh is Yahweh. To me, Yahweh is Yahweh. 
So that's look, it. No, no, what, no what, he's, what he's trying to say, it doesn't, it doesn't no, no, brother, it doesn't the, the reason he's trying to say from what I saw about the conversation, yeah, is the reason he's asking you to pronounce the name in Hebrew, yeah, it, it was Hebrew you asked, right? The reasoning behind the Hebrew, yeah, is right. to see how much of an understanding you actually have. So you have the translation there, is that right? You, are you reading by the English translation, understandably? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, the reason he's asking that is because if you haven't checked that translation, how do you know that that word, because there's many other... Do you, can I, sorry, can sorry, I explain can, that? Yeah, that's fine, of course. Just can I ask already, one thing? One thing? Yeah, yeah, sure. brother, uh, just to clarify, do you know any other language apart from English at the moment? Mm, well, I know obviously my dialect. Like, the only reason I say that is because Let's many one to... words has many different uh, translations. Jesus' yeah, this identity. Is what I'm when it comes to the Lord in all caps lock in the Bible, that's the name for Yahweh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm only implying. Is there is there more than is there more than one word in for Lord in, in Hebrew? Well, go ahead, brother. One if this was the name of God, right. you would expect Jesus to know this, right? Okay. From the beginning of the Gospel of Matthew mm -hmm. to the end of Revelation, that's the New Testament, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Make it, Out make of this point. whole New Testament, right. can you quote me once Jesus identified that name that, of Yahweh that he uh, knows? Even he said actually a more, a more intimate name actually, Abba Father, isn't it? Abba See how you've shifted the goalpost? No, that's not First you said the name of God is Yahweh. Yeah, that, that is when I question is it Yahweh, which you didn't answer because you know you don't know okay. what it is. Okay. Secondly, right. you said that was the name of God, personal name. Yeah, that is a personal name. Did Christ use this personal name even once? No. He didn't. That tells you that so, it's an interesting point, right? So now John 17:3, mm -hmm. Jesus identifies who the only true God is. Right. There is only one true God, right? Yeah. There is only one true God. According to Jesus, who is that? That's the Father. Not him. Well, it's him as well. Wait, 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 he is wait. one with the Father. Slow down, slow down. If Jesus oh, says, if Jesus go says, on, on. now this is eternal life that they know the only true God. Mm -hmm. yep. You are the only true God. Yep. So, so who is Jesus saying? Is the only true God. Only true God means he is the only one. He's the only one. If I say you are the only, okay, okay, let me okay. let me let me you're, make you're my making point. Your point. I get your point. Do you get my but point? But then hold on. Hold do you on. get my point? Now, now listen to this. Listen to Trump, this. Before you, yes, I do. I get your point. The only on, true God. The only true God. So he gets right? my point. So hold on. Who did Jesus <laughs> refer to God as? Who did Jesus refer to God as? Who? Who did Jesus refer to God as? The one in heaven. But what did he? What did he address him as? Hmm? Abba Father. In the New Testament, it's Abba Father. Yeah, in the New Testament, it's Father. Which means father, right? Father. So the only true God, yeah, who is Jesus' maybe, father. Maybe that's her issue. Yeah, yeah. Jesus says, I am one with the father. And if you see me, you see the father. So what is he elaborating? What is he saying? And you just made a point. Okay, so um, this is Jesus Christ whom you have sent, right? Do you believe that Jesus is the word of God? No, no, no. I just want to make that point. Jesus says, I am one with the Father. And if you see me, you see the Father. So what is he elaborating? What is he saying? And you just made a point. Okay, so um, this is Jesus Christ whom you have sent, right? Do you believe that Jesus is the word of God? One more. Oh, no, no, no. If, if I, just, made I just want to make that point. Three different points. No, 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 no. no. I before, believe as a Muslim, Jesus is sent by God. He's sent by God. He didn't come by himself okay. because he doesn't have the authority. Right. To come by himself from anywhere. So, okay. so what, what, with that, with that, I agree. But, but I, agree. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't addressed the point. Uh, but I don't want you to jump. On the something. only true God. Like, right. if I said you are the only true human on planet Earth, can there be another? Can there be another? Right. So what you're implying is that he's only pointing to one God, and then that's, that's no, no. Let that's me. The only God. So I get what you're trying me, to say. That's um, what I'm I don't think you do. I totally if do. Jesus says so to you that the Father is the only true God, right. can He also be the only true God, right. or He also be the only true God? Right. Can they? The okay. answer is no, because He's restricted the only true God to who? To Himself. Well, to the Father. To himself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he do that to himself? Oh, are, are you going to let me address or do you want to just keep saying you? Are you going to let me address just, it? Please Can address. some time to address it? But did you understand my point? I've told you like 10 times already. I okay, understand now I'm, I'm explain. Okay, thank you very much, yeah? So you're saying that Jesus is addressing the only true God as the, as the Father in heaven. And I just gave you another point. I just said that the Father who did he describe, he says he is one with, right? He says, he's, I am one with the Father, right? And he also says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, right? So what is Jesus implying? 
you just the verse you just brought, very good. Well, yeah, very good. God can send Jesus, right? I also agree with that. We believe Jesus is the word of God, right? So if you go on to the Old Testament, let's understand the word a bit more, right? Isaiah 55. Before we go into the word, the word let's deal with... No, before you go into any other tangent. No, this, this ain't a tangent. I'm addressing the point that you just made. So which, allow which me to the finish. Point? Allow me to finish. I have these. Let's pray. Inshallah, give me a few minutes. Yeah? Allow me to finish. So you said... The what word, point am I addressing? The word, you said that Jesus can be sent. That's right? not my point. Whom Jesus no, 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 I'm not addressing. Look, my point is nothing to do with Jesus being sent. My point is, Jesus is identifies who the only true God is. Yes. Now, if Jesus is, if the Father is the only true God, right. you are saying that's incorrect. No, I'm not saying that. The incorrect. only true God is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Is that what you're saying? That's the only one, yes. But Jesus didn't say that. But Jesus said, I am one with that father. Wait, wait, wait. Before I address those points, you will see that you are actually misquoting from the context. I'm not misquoting. Because the Jews fully understood what Jesus wait, was wait. saying. Of course, you misrepresent the context. How, do, how am I misinterpreting? Misrepresenting the misrepresenting, context. Misrepresenting yeah. Yeah. the Jews. At the no, time. the text. The, the text. text. Okay. So the Jews, Fine. what were the Jews' reaction to what no, Jesus no, no, no. You're again committing a logical fallacy. No, no, I'm just saying. Just look, you are doing the same thing. What did the other people think what no, Jesus was? You're not trying to even look, listen, right? Uh, listen, listen. Um, Please, bear with me one moment, right? Bear with yeah, me. Yeah, go on. The, okay, let me address both of them. The Jewish people considered Jesus as a madman, demon possessed. So you agree with them. You're going to be consistent okay. and truthful okay. and say, yes, okay. I agree with okay. the Jewish people mm -hmm. who considered and they said, now we are certain that you are demon possessed. Right. So you agree with the Jewish people. I agree that that's what they said. No, you the agree time. that Jesus was demon possessed. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. Listen, at the time, okay. what was the number one? So, what was the reason why no, Jesus was crucified? One, one moment, one moment. Place. Now you're diverting again. It's not so, diverting. One second. My friend, please, please. So listen, the Jewish... Listen. This one, is very simple. You've, you've, you've listen, been talking for a no, minute no, now. I want, you, I want to address this. Right, listen, the bro. Jewish people's reaction... Yeah, this, one man. second. You're not going to let me talk. You're going to keep talking. Carry on, carry on, carry on. I don't like that. No, no, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Thank you. But make it to the point. I'll make it to the point. This is what I'm saying. Oh, subject yeah. of discussion. Jesus was learned in what? The Old Testament, right? Do you agree? Carry on. I'm not going to say anything. The Pharisees were learned in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So everything that Jesus was saying was according to the Old Testament. They understood each other. When Jesus made a statement and it was blasphemous, the Jews knew that and they picked up stones to stone him, right? So you just you just said that. Obviously, um, sorry, what's the point that you were just making? Again? Shall I remind you? Yes, yeah, right. What I was saying is, in terms of who Jesus is, there's a self-identity and there's a description by other people. Right. Other people considered Jesus to be a prophet, right. the Messiah, Son of God, a miracle worker, a demon-possessed individual. Yeah. Now, if you are consistent and you say, oh, I'm going to take what other people consider, so you have to accept Jesus was demon-possessed. But if you don't, then you have to say, look, these are the opinions of other people. Okay. What's important is what Jesus considered himself. Right. So Jesus considers himself to be showing the relationship right. that he's been sent by the one true God. And that's not him. The one true God, he identifies as who? The Father. The Father. Yeah. So if he identifies the one true God as the Father, you somehow want to include Jesus and the Holy Spirit in it. How did you do that? How no no how did you do that is by having two texts. Two texts. One text where Jesus says, I am the Father one. And the other text he says, if you see me, you see the Father. Now let me be free distant. If you consider when Jesus says I am the Father one, it means there are one God, then you have a point. Now I no no, I will give it to you that you have a point and you refuted my argument. But this is where you misunderstand the text within the context. Because Jesus, within the same gospel, he says, just as I am the Father one, you, my disciple, will be one with us. So, so, if Jesus and the Father in their oneness makes them one divine being, he says the disciples are also one with them, exactly as Jesus and the Father are one. So they will be also one divine being. Obviously, no Christian on planet Earth that I know of takes that to be the case. They say this oneness is one of purpose. But Jesus said, just as I am the Father one, you are also one. That means the oneness is same in both cases. If the disciples are one in purpose, 
Jesus is one in the Father in purpose. If Jesus and the Father are one in divinity, so would be the disciples. Which one do you take? All right, don't put me in a corner. Can I explain from the Bible now, yeah? Okay. So you're saying that obviously the Jews, sorry, um, the disciples. Okay, and I get your point anyway. Let me bring you some text so that I will elaborate on it because I'm not sure you guys But do you really see, do you see while you're going to speak, do you see, I have given you the context of I am the Father I want. Because Jesus explains what he means by I am the Father I want by saying, you also be also one with us. You'll be one. No, they said you. Just you as I am the Father I want. I, I, I am the Father I want. No, he says, just, just as I am one, one, you will also be the same one with us. Yeah. No difference. Yeah. So okay. that means, that means he and the Father I want is not one in divinity. Really? Then well, you believe when we go back to John. You, so, so are you saying hold on. the disciples right, bro, are one? Listen, can I just finish? All right, thank you. So, it, you want to go to basically talk about the relationship between Jesus and the Father to understand how they're one, right? Let's go to the Bible because where did you quote from? So, did you, did you quote from? I'm just John you. 17, right? Let's let me quote from something. the same John mm -hmm. that you're quoting from mm -hmm. and let's elaborate on what he, the, the, the relationship between him and the Father so you can understand, right? Okay. So you John do one, that, but you explain what I said earlier. Now that you've appealed to John, I can actually use that to appeal against you. Now that, you use respect. John, and I use John against you. Yeah, you use John against me. So no, no, you used John first. Okay, I okay. didn't. You said, I am the father of one that was from John. Okay, yeah, and yeah. I said, John elsewhere explains what this oneness is, which Christians somehow don't see it. Right. Every Christian I've spoken to here, about 99% of the Christians, they've never read this context. Blatantly, in black and white, it tells you. No, I agree. Just yeah. as the Father of one, you'll be one with us. Right. And that's obviously something that I can discuss about, but I don't, I'm not sure if you guys will even understand that. But I'll, I'll break it down so, so it's easier for you guys to, do, to digest, right? So, this, so John, we call it John, right? To understand who Jesus is in relation to the Father, it says, In the beginning was the Word, right? And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, right? So there you have a Word who's distinct from the Father, yeah? But yet he's one with the Father. So that's what this is implying. So how many yeah. gods so were in the beginning? The same was in the beginning with God, right? Yeah. So how many gods were things, in the beginning? Let me just finish. All things but were can made. Can you explain that? All things. You, yeah, you can't throw in questions when I'm trying to answer your question. Otherwise, you're just going to. But I didn't understand the first one. I haven't understood the first one. The first you one, confused me there. Okay. How many gods were there in the beginning? If I've confused you, I'm, you just need to understand. No, no, no. In the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me go on. Explain. In, in the, the beginning, beginning was the word. Yeah. Word. Do you agree? Yeah. In the beginning is the word. And the word was with God. So the word was with someone. Distinct from God. Right? Okay. Distinct with someone. And the word was God. Okay. So, so in the beginning, the word was with God, right. and the word was God. Yep. Distinct. So from how many God, gods God. were there in the beginning? Right. So can I can I? Address that. Don't put me in the corner. When it comes to spirit, when it comes to the spirit world, mm -hmm. right? yeah. Listen. When it comes to the spirit world, yeah. we're talking about God. God is spirit. He's, he's far beyond what we can comprehend. Right? His word is spirit. He's far beyond what we can. His comprehend. word is spirit. His word is spirit. His yeah. word is spirit. Now listen. Don't, uh, why are you answering? Why are you throwing so many questions? You, you said God is a are spirit. Are you being sincere? Are you being sincere? Look, look. Right I'm now? trying. If you're not being sincere, you don't your want position. Me, then, then let me explain. Okay. okay. Without throwing questions. But, but, but you need to clarify you though. Know, you're not even sincere, man. Excuse like, me. I'm trying to understand. I'm Are you sorry. not trying to clarify? No, because I'm Why trying to clarify. I'm trying to, I'm trying to Okay. I'm trying clarify to clarify how many gods were in the beginning. Okay. Are you gonna throw questions because the camera's I'm here. not gonna throw questions. Are you gonna let me answer? Go ahead. Alright. Are you gonna let me answer? Go ahead. So in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, right? You can say you can say you, you, to you can say what you want to say. Right, but this is truth, and we accept it because it's truth. It's in the Bible. So hold on. He's gonna explain so to me how many gods in the as beginning. I you, as I explained to you, I showed you even from um, Genesis when the Lord sent fire out of heaven from the Lord out of heaven. Yeah. So there was two laws, and you clearly agree. So God, you should understand with your mind that God is complex in His nature. If you can't comprehend that, then you're you're obviously you've got some agenda, or maybe your belief restricts you from understanding that, or maybe you know deep inside, but because of your belief, you just don't want to accept it, right? Because according to our Bible, Antichrist is he who denies the Father and Son, and you guys are required to deny that. That that's the main thing you guys are ordered. So answer the question now. So I've just, I've just explained to you. I've just explained to you. You may take it as explain to me what you've just. I've just showed you that according the word, to John the word is, is with God, and yeah. the word is God. So how many right? gods were there in the beginning, according to John one one? God. No. Yes, one God. Because there's still in one. the beginning was the word, yep. and the word was with himself or with someone else. Right. So the word. Okay. For example, 
when you're speaking, yeah. what comes out of you? Words. Words. Is right? the word me so or... No, the father. When the father speaks, what yeah. comes out? Words. Words. So you agree, it's the word. Yeah. But in God's, it, when God mm -hmm. speaks, it's living. Okay. It's, it's, okay. it's actually living. The you word know what? Is, the word is living. Okay. And I'll give you an example. Before you give an example... So it from before, the father. Before you hold give on, an example... Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't change no, up. On the word. On the word itself. I'm gonna leave. You can leave if you want. I'll leave but on the word. Which which word of God? Which word of God was Jesus? It's not sincere. You, you find it. Look. 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 You. You're trying to throw questions. You said you wanna go. Go. Just go. Just go. So now, just to wrap this up very clearly, as you can see, the Christians are trying all their best, all their best, to justify the belief in more than one God, when the text itself has so many what. What are they called? Confusions. If you say in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, clearly that's two gods. So if Jesus was the Word of God, I was going to ask him, which Word of God is he? All of it or some of it? Because if he was all of God, then God cannot speak. Only Jesus speaks and God is mute. If it's some of God, some of the words of God, then which words of God was he? That means some words of God becomes a man, Another love of God becomes a woman, another love of God becomes an elephant. Do you see the problem? This is what Christianity is all about in terms of their belief when they go away from the actual complete unique understanding of monotheism. Anything else other than monotheism will be irrational, nonsensical, unbelievable. And this is what I was just demonstrating. Just leave it to that.